Hello lovebirds! Welcome in my studio. I'm going to show you around today. So in this video, obviously I'm going to show you all the technical aspects behind creating my videos. Um, but first of all, let me tell you why. I really, really was frustrated with the quality, with the space in my home, and it was about time that I would move out. Um, so I found this studio by chance, by luck, and I'm really excited. It was a lot more space than I was originally looking for, but now that I've got it, I'm really, really happy. Right, first off, let me start with the vintage pieces, the pieces that I found on vintage websites. So this is a the Seder Bunk from the 1970s, and it's still in mint shape. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, it does need a little bit of love, but what doesn't? Then onto my table. I am a sucker for pieces that have a 70s or more space age reference and this table was a dream find. Then next up I've got a little leather vintage chair that I found for maybe 70, 70 euros or something and it's also in such good condition so I'm really really happy with that. Obviously, I need some kind of a kitchen area. So I bought myself a fridge because everyone needs a good fridge. There's not much in here. It's not an MTV Cribs episode. Um, mainly, it's coffee that I need. <laughs> I really wanted to create a space that I would feel happy in and that I could actually work in instead of taking my laptop home and doing the edits there. I wanted a space that would it be inviting enough for me to stay? So um, obviously I needed some kind of a cupboard. So this one is by Dutchbone and it holds everything I need. So got a few cutlery things, glasses, um, got a few cleaning supplies, etc., etc. Little light, little candle for the smell. And then this one is by Stecky. I'm very excited with these because I am not able to keep plants alive except for this. Then my dinner area. So I wanted to be able to actually eat somewhere, have a table to sit on and I completely, I mean, if you've seen my Instagram stories in the past few months, I fell in love with this one. It's so pretty. So this one is by Bald Monkey. The chairs are also by Dutchbone and the carpet is a lucky find from Ikea. Then in the corner, I've got the most epic couch you could ever want. <laughs> I think my parents are a little bit scared of the print because it is a pen foot print and I love it. It has these gold edges and these gold rims and you know there's a hint of kitsch which I absolutely love. And then I'll show you the last piece, my blue chair. I'm an absolute sucker for comfy chairs and I love to curl up in them, maybe even read a book or do my edits here. Um, and I found this one also by Bald Monkey on the website and with the gold little chair legs, I just fell in love. <laughs> now the carpet is a gift from my parents. It's like a, um, a happy workspace gift I got from them and I absolutely love a good Persian. I think this is the third or fourth I've got now, and I think it won't be my last. All right, let's continue on to the working space. Come on. So over here, we've got a backdrop, a paper backdrop, because I wanted to have a space where I could do outfit photos with a cleaner backdrop, or maybe even, I don't know, do an actual shoot if we don't have any space somewhere else. Then over here, I've got my makeup organizer, <laughs> which is already quite full and I figured this would be enough and I wanted it all to be organized well. So for example, this week we organize all the lipsticks. So we've got nudes, reds, pinks, darks, 
Then we go on to liquids, but I think we are going to have to separate those into the same categories as the cream lipstick. Um, so I'm thinking of getting a second one right over here because I still have the space. Could be nice. Over here, there's a huge thing and you're probably wondering why. You might be able to hear a slight echo to my voice. So it was necessary for me to build a box within a box. So I've got a room within a room that is covered with all these panels that will suck up the sound kind of. So it doesn't bounce back from all the hollow walls um, and give me a little bit of a nicer sound. Then over here we've got my little clothing rack and I've got a few clothing pieces that I haven't used for videos um, and a couple that I have used for videos and I still need to take home. Then over here, I've got all my backdrops. So um, I decided to work with cloth backdrops and I saw this in Desi Perkins's video and I thought it was such a good system that I decided to just buy all these different types of jersey fabrics to use as backdrops. And I'm quite, quite pleased with it. It's much cheaper than the paper backdrops. So I'm really happy I decided to go that way. Then I think this is something you've all been wondering. What kind of lights do you use? So I've decided to heavily invest in lights and to go for the Kino Flows. There are LED light bulbs in here instead of normal light bulbs and I'm really pleased with that. I can change the warmth of the color of the light but usually I have it around 5200 Kelvin. Then over here we've got a diffuser. Now the diffuser for me is really important because it spreads out the light and it makes sure that it gives you a really beautiful soft, soft feeling on camera and it's just really pretty. Um, then if you come over here, we've got the actual studio. So on top here, there is a second pair of Kino Flows with four light bulbs in there just to highlight and light the backdrops. So the backdrop thing is really, really simple. It's just a U stand by Manfrotto and you just clamp the cloth over there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Maybe give it a steam if it's necessary. But yeah, this is my little studio. One of the things I thought was really important is to use bounce boards because you wanna have a light on all sides of you. So, for example, if you don't have any bounce boards on the sides of your studio, it might become a little bit more dark, which will create shadows on the sides, and it's not so pretty for a makeup video. Over here, I've got a little monitor. I'll show you with my phone later on what it does, but um, it makes sure that I can actually see myself whilst I'm filming. And uh, I've decided to skip a mirror here in the studio and just use my monitor as a mirror. If I need to do something really close up, like an eyeliner for example, then I use a tiny, tiny mirror. So I'm just gonna hop on in to show you guys what it actually looks like when I do my videos. I mean, you've all seen them before, but still different with a little bit of explanation behind what happens. Then my tripod and over here we've got my microphone, a Blue Yeti, which is I think mainly used by gamers and people who are doing podcasts, but I wanted to have a very rich sound on camera, which is not the same mic as the one on top of my camera at the moment. Then I've always got my laptop here on the sides because um, we've been trying to use a program called OBS to um, record the sound from my USB microphone and my camera who doesn't accept USB microphones, which is perfect. So yeah, this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, please drop them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.